Trish. Is it again? Go back from Arthur, is it? Okay. Any changes now? Any changes, fellas? Trouble, yeah, there's trouble. Yep. We're taking it. Well, a very sad sight here at Hamden, a spot of crowd trouble. The Northern Ireland contingent merging with the Scottish at that corner flag. As the second half gets underway and Northern Ireland come forward immediately, that's a long try from Jerry Armstrong. Trouble, I'm happy to tell you, quickly quelled by the Strathclyde police. And no changes in either lineup for this thoroughly vital 45 minutes. Andy Gray looking as eager as he was throughout that first half. Jimmy Nichols throw. One by McLeish. Now Jerry Armstrong. Leaving that for Cochran, that's the first corner kick of the second half, and it goes to Northern Ireland. And this time, the Irish pushing their big men forward, there's John McClellan going forward. Chris Nickel has also got into the box, number five. There he is. So that's a little bit more ambitious than the Irish were in the first half. Headed away by Gray. Michael Roy gets there before Archibald. This is Nelson. And Michael Roy beaten by Gray. Nelson with that long throw. Back it comes to McCreary. And Michael Roy. Nelson playing it in, Hamilton in the box. And that's a great save by Alan Ruff, touching the ball onto the post. Well, that would certainly have been a killer blow for Northern Ireland. A flighted ball from Sammy Nelson, Hamilton under pressure, got his head to it, going in at the top corner, and there's Ruff just touching it onto that post. Cochrane's corner kick. Again, the throw to Northern Ireland. towards Robertson, Archibald's the only man forward for Scotland. Burns with a header back, and Alan Ruff coming out very quickly. Burns didn't quite get this full power behind the header back. All the second half, 
off with a bang and giving tremendous heart to Northern Ireland. Well, that's a good headed pass by Sammy Nelson. No game all for Scotland. Robertson. Archibald has found space on the left. Good piece of defending by Dave McCleary getting back to block the run from Robertson. No Gray. McGrain cut off by Armstrong. McGrain's tackle and Michael Roy giving the free kick to Northern Ireland. Close up of Billy Hamilton. Almost gave up. behind Armstrong, this is Nelson, Michael Roy, the Irish growing in confidence, well cut out there by Willie Miller for Scotland, Armstrong, well that's a rather aimless cross, taking the pressure off the Scottish defence, and that's where the pressure's been for the opening five minutes of the second half, the rain begins to fall steadily here at Hamden. Gray battling for it with McClelland. Jimmy Nicholl with a long pass back. Back by Cochran to Nicholl. Billy Hamilton wants it in the box. And Ruff made the telling interception. Well, there's two casualties from that clash, Alan Ruff and Billy Hamilton. It was a great hanging cross, waiting and biting Hamilton to come onto it, and Ruff was the man who spotted the danger, came out to meet him and saved the day for Scotland. But that's the penalty for the courage that was shown by Alan Ruff. Billy Hamilton still on the deck too, just out of your picture. And Alan Ruff certainly looks most unhappy. The anxious face of Jock Steen in the Scotland dugout. Having to consider a replacement for Alan Ruff, who would be Billy Thompson of St Man. Billy Thompson now warming up on the track. Hamilton has fully recovered, so that takes some of the worry out of the situation for Northern Ireland. Ruff clearly in some distress. Well, this would be a body blow to Scotland. Ruff's contribution in the first five minutes of the second half, keeping them level. That save, first of all, from Billy Hamilton at the top corner. And then that brave dive to cut off more danger posed by Hamilton. Well, Billy Thompson made his international debut against Northern Ireland at Windsor Park last May. An unhappy experience that was. Scotland losing by one goal to nil. The referee affording the usual additional courtesy given to goalkeepers who are injured. He's waited a long time to allow Alan Ruff to recover. A warm reception from the Scotland supporters as Ruff goes back between the posts. It's a free kick to Scotland. Pushing from behind by O'Neill and Gray. Well, Andy Gray's had tough battle throughout this match the Irish central defence coping very well with the considerable problems posed by Gray and Archibald this is Frank Gray way by O'Neill returned by Wark so 
up front to Nickel. Leash for Scotland. And Nicol is the man who's penalised for the challenge of Alec McLeish. Well, that was neither for Miller or McGrain, and McGrain steps in. No buns. Wark in a forward run. There's John Wark. Now Gemmell. Back to Miller. No Burns, very crowded in front of that Irish box. McGrain forward, the run forward from Gemmell. Good play from John McClellan, he really has done a superb job for Northern Ireland. And that linchpin roll right in front of the back four. There he is, the bearded figure. Made a lot of very important tackles tonight. Nelson penalised the foul throw, the quick raised as he threw the ball. Archibald back to Barnes. Well, that's a misunderstanding, it could have been Gamble or Wark he was aiming for. But it's Cochrane for Northern Ireland. This is McCreary. Attacking the Scottish defence. Tackle from Willie Miller, conceding the corner kick. These runs from David McCreary caused bother in the first half of the Scottish defence. A good turn of acceleration when he gets to the box. Chris Nickel, number five. Michael Roy's corner kick. O'Neill heading it back across. But Gray was pinned to the deck by Nickel and O'Neill. Robertson again, wandering to the Scottish right. Dummy from Archibald, that's John O'Neill. Leash to his mate Miller. Now Robertson trying to become more involved in the action. Burns a lot of space in the middle of the field. Walk wide in the right. Burns retrieves it. Gray. Into Gemmel. Again, Walk is on the right. Archibald's ahead. These green jerseys swarming around that 18 yard line, making it very difficult for Scotland. Now, Jerry Armstrong. Now, oh, a chance for McCreary to cause trouble for Northern Ireland. Going all the way himself. Shot blocked by Miller. Robertson forced the turn back. This is McGrain. Gray to Gemmel. Archibald coming off his marker. And McGrain. Robertson's on the right. Now a chance to attack Nelson towards the byline. Go back to McGrain. Well, McGrain loves those ones towards the byline, but getting no change out of the Irish defence. Ball had swerved out to give the throw to Scotland. Now Gemmel. Got this ball forward, met by McClelland. Well, there aren't many options available ahead for McLeish and Gray. don't like it but really Alec McLeish had little alternative again returned by McClelland Ruff appears to have recovered fully from that knock
Runs to Work. That's an intelligent ball wide to Gray. Terry Cochran busily back to mark up. Archibald trying to get away from Chris Nichol. Coming off the hand of Terry Cochran. We kick to Scotland. Now McLeish going forward into the box. Andy Gray in the box too, number nine. The rain still falling heavily. It'll be Frank Gray with a kick for Scotland. Kenny Burns in the box. McLeish at the far post. Well, a shooting chance for John Wark, but that's what makes Pat Jennings such a great goalkeeper. A great shooting opportunity for John Wark. He hit it very firmly indeed, but Jennings made that look easy. Moving into a central midfield position. McGrain trying to get on the end of that flick from Archibald. Once again, the Scottish attack breaks down. forward, flicked on by Archibald to Gray Robertson on the right and that's the move that's allowed John Wark to go into the centre of the field well Robertson never really quite had a grip of that situation for the shot, the ball was always a shade out of range Judged by McLeish, William Miller around the back. Now Gray, he needs support. McGrain provides it. Now Robertson. Missing out Barnes to find Frank Gray. Now Barnes. Robertson and McGrain operating on the right flank now for Scotland. Way by Nickel. Well, Archie Gemmel wanted that one very badly. No McGrain. Archibald shot. And that could have caused Jennings a lot of trouble coming out of a ruck of players along the ground. But again, these big hands stretched down to collect the ball. kick to Scotland no way out of your picture Scottish trainer Donny McKinnon round behind the goal to check that Alan Ruff has recovered fully there he is signs now that Ruff has damaged his right shoulder well Archibald doesn't the hope of catching that one Free kick given for the challenge by McLeish. It's 
So Sammy Nelson waiting for his colleagues to move forward. There's Billy Hamilton. Crunching tackle from McGrain. Now Ruff's obviously in some pain. Now Archibald. Gemmel making the forward run again. Across towards Wark. Well beaten by Nickel. So the glancing header from Barnes to McGrain. Andy Gray showing himself ahead. Now Gemmel. This time it's Robertson. Andy Gray has left the field. He's trying to avoid being offside. This brings into question another rule about leaving the field at play without the permission of the referee. The throw to Northern Ireland. The flag was up on the near side and the referee has chosen to wave it down. The squad are beginning to overload on this right flank now. Gemmel operating more and more on this side of the field. Here's McGrain. Towards Wark. Well, a good piece of play from McGrain and the run forward, which is a trademark of John Wark, just out of range. The pushing by Jerry Armstrong giving the free kick to Scotland. Well, a cut eye in the Face of Jerry Armstrong. Great towards Wark. Well, that's a cynical tackle by Sammy Nelson, one which will certainly earn them a booking. And the referee making it perfectly clear how he feels about that tackle. But Wark had made the run. He had eluded Sammy Nelson until that late challenge. Wark looks revitalised now he's playing in the middle of the field. Sammy Nelson joining Willie Miller in the referee's book. And the move undoubtedly set up for Scotland. As that five-man wall it comes to Frank Gray and it's blocked by the wall. Kenny Burns with a chance. And the tackle which came in was from John O'Neill. before for Scotland but way back in 1974 so how he would have enjoyed that one how great well that space was closed down very well by Jerry Armstrong well conceded by Nelson the Scotland trying to pick up the pace Gray is fouled from behind. So another free kick in a very dangerous position now for Scotland. Gemmel and Robertson over the ball. Robertson's kick away by O'Neill. McElroy thumping it clear for Northern Ireland. certainly injecting a lot of energy into the Scottish midfield build-up. Well, McCurry won that challenge with Gemmel. Oh, Hamilton is marked by McGrain. Well, that was a very telling piece of defending by Danny McGrain. At least to Gray. Robertson to Miller. Kenny Barnes is 
Kick back to Milan to go forward. Now Wark back on the right flank. So is Gamble. Lane's part is blocked by Cochrane. Now Andy Gray. Archibald. Willie Miller. Well, digging up good position, but the cross letting him down. Just swapping roles with Kenny Burns for a couple of moments. Terry Cochran for Northern Ireland. Back on the way in a forward position. Now he's come back to take it from Nelson. Happy to regain possession. Good play by Hamilton. Well, Kenny Burns has been in a lot of hefty tackles tonight. Well, this may be a test for that right shoulder of Alan Ruff. Billy Hamilton at the far side of the box with Jerry Armstrong. Michael Roy, Billy Hamilton makes it 1-0 to Northern Ireland. Well, that's the bonus Northern Ireland were looking for on the blow that Scotland were dreading. A perfectly orthodox driven free kick by Sammy Michael Roy. The Scottish marking, thoroughly unsatisfactory. Hamilton's glancing header and Northern Ireland go in front. Billy Hamilton now is scoring only his second goal in international football. The first one against Scotland, it proved to be a winner. The second also against Scotland. And unless the Scots can find some inspiration, it could well prove to be a winner again. 20 minutes left for play. Scotland nil, Northern Ireland one. A little bit of unpleasantness there between McCreary and Archibald. Robertson for Scotland. Well cleared by Nicholl. Done by Miller. Gray had to come back a long way to remain onside. 